First, I'm about to make a gold chain for Father's Day. This is what the chains look like. They are a 360, meaning a photo could go on each side. It's gold. I also have them in. I also have them in silver and rose gold. Right now, I am about to do the gold one. Um, I already have my photos up. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't have my photos up yet, but right now I am just trying to get my sizing right over here. I'm gonna bring y'all to my computer or bring my computer closer. Ooh. Okay, right now I am just going to bring my photos in and I'm also gonna size my I'm also gonna size my circle. Oh um, I'm looking for my measuring tape. So, let's see. This is It's not quite a it's not quite 1 inch yet, but we're going to say it's we're we're going to say it's 1 inch to have some wiggle room. So, we're going to say this circle is 1 inch. So, we're going to change the width and the height to 1. to 1. And I will be, I need two of these, so I'm just going to make a copy. I'm going to bring my photos in. I'm filming right here. Okay, maybe I haven't brought my photos in yet. I thought I did, but I didn't. This is the wrong email. Give me one second. Yeah, I don't need to be all up in my business. I don't even know this email. I don't even know this password. Thank you. I don't know my password. Y'all can see what I'm typing. Y'all in my business. Don't do that. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Don't. This is so bad right now. So bad. So bad. <laughs> this is so bad. What is my password? Oh my goodness. Okay, I am now in. I am now in. I'm going to go ahead and download the three photos I will be working with today. Okay, now I can go back into my software 
and oops bring over the three photos that I need and that's it so the first photo I will be working with this is not a tutorial so I'm just going to throw it fast <laughs> Nope, that's not the right photo. This is not a tutorial, so I am not. Um, And then for my next circle, go ahead and bring that photo in. I could probably zoom in some. First of all, why am I straining my eyes to see? There we go. I like that so let's see if my other so I'm going to go ahead and print this out and my Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and print this out. Print. I'm using my Epson. Okay. That is printing. While that is printing, I think I showed you guys what I'll be subbing on today. This is the chain. While that is printing, I have my heat press already doing what it needs to do. I am going to go ahead and prep my circles. All I'm doing right now is just removing this little clear plastic. But again, this isn't a tutorial. This is not a tutorial. So these are ready to be subbed on. I don't have butcher paper, so I just use regular copy paper for my, if you know, you know. If you sub, you know why I use it for. <laughs> I need to get my handy dandy scissors. I don't like to waste paper. So I am going to cut these out and I can use the rest of this paper for another project. I do not waste paper over here. So this paper is not cheap. I think it's twenty dollars it's not really bad but yeah i think it's twenty dollars for a hundred four hundred sheets and all i'm doing right now is cutting my pieces out my pictures out if you know about subbing you probably wondering why you probably didn't see me mirror i ain't mirror because i ain't got to if you know you know my printer did all that for me i'm trying to get a good let me see if y'all can see what I'm doing right now. That's good. So now all I'm going to do is do what I'm doing. And that is perfect. That is perfect. Yes, that is perfect. 
Where's my heat tape? Got you. See what I'm doing? Oops. Okay, now I am now to my heat press, and all I'm about to do is do what I need to do. Can y'all see it? Again, I don't use butcher paper. If you want to apply any with your hypo, if you sub, you know. <laughs> My heat press is at 400. I'm going to go ahead and press this one. Oop, not enough. Not enough pressure. That is not enough pressure, honey. Okay. Gotta be enough pressure. Make sure there's not enough. I mean, uh. Hopefully that's good. Let's pray that's good. I feel like that still wasn't enough pressure. But we're going to go ahead and let that count down. That's the first time my heat press went down in temperature like that. <laughs> okay, that looks like a good press. I'm just... Hopefully that didn't mess up the sticky part. I forgot it was a sticky part on the air. Ooh, I can fix that. No big deal. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys back to So all I'm doing now is removing it. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Okay. It's like a adhesive part on the back. It already came off when I took the tape off. No big deal. Don't need it. So now I am going to just place this first one right in there like that Perfect. 
this one didn't come off with the tape, so I gotta peel this one off. This is the necklace. It came out so great. Came out so great. Oh, that's fine. I'm going to take them out anyways and put something else on the back so they don't pop out like that again. They, the adhesive on the back isn't really that strong. So I just go in with a little something else, a little something, something to hold that together better. But for this real. This is what it looks like. And it came out so perfect. The perfect Father's Day gift. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see y'all in my next video.